for his life? Look at the fight already beginning. These forearms from Bonesaw. Jay George with his Jeff Jarrett circa mid 90s esque gear. And a huge kick to the back. Tell you, she means business, man. I don't know what Jay George was thinking when he started messing with her. She's a tough young lady, I'm telling you, man. Eight months in the making, he might be getting his. He's just using his, his height and the length of his legs to try to keep her away, but no, she's got him down now. Just firing away with those forearms, but I think she caught a thumb to the eye. And a shot to the face, and she fires back in return. The crowd here, clearly behind Bonesaw, as she just lays him in. Vicious attack. Unbelievable attack. Jesse Pick tries to take him with a suplex. Jesse Brooks favors the suplexes. She loves throwing them, especially to a guy like Jay George. But now it looks like Jay George with the powder to the outside is taking control. Rams Jesse face first into the canvas. And into the railing here into the front row. Jay George not getting any love from the tier one faithful. And I'm sure you folks at home watching have no love for this gentleman either. But now, trying to use a suplex against her on the outside. Yeah, and that's not going to be good. We were starting to talk about that difference in size. But, but how Jesse about, gets it! How about that? <laughs> All the suplex to Jay George. Wow, I didn't mean to cut you off on that No, you're one, fine, brother. No, I mean, you got to call it. <laughs> he might be unpredictable, but I don't think he was predicting that reversal. This young lady is so strong. You talk about you talk about things like CrossFit. And I'm not going to say I can get close enough to her to actually ask, are you, are you a proponent of CrossFit? But you look at usually the, the strength in the lower body, the ability to, have, to literally lift hundreds of pounds and be that size. You can see the tree trunk-like legs, and I don't mean that insultingly to her. He's in trouble. Or was. Well, if you talk to her about her tree trunk legs, you better explain to her what you meant. You can't oh, lead off with something like that. No, no, again, I, my plan is by the time they watch this on video on demand, I'll WWE in live. You'll be back in Florida. Florida. Exactly, I'll be far enough away. And hopefully they'll forget by the time they see me and murder me. But you know what, Jay George, perhaps showboating a bit too long right now, but he is in control. Let me right tell now. you something, though. She beat him up so badly, his gear's already in tatters. And that quick knee to the head. Jay George got some, something wrapped around the throat of Jesse Brooks. I don't know if it's tape. Maybe it's part of his gear. Yeah, I think it is. I think it may be part of his gear. But like you said, it could be tape. I'm really not sure what's going on here. But you know what? Referee's not, not throwing it out. So... I think he wants to see what's going to happen in this last person standing match. I've always been confused about the rules of those two, I'm going to be honest with you. So are they like, is it borderline no DQ by default? No count out by default? I would I would think so. Ooh. And a huge suplex. Dropping him on his head. Well, she told me she wanted to knock some smarts into him. I think that's one way to get it done. Yeah, but she might have not only knocked it into him, but out of him with the way he got drove into the mat. I'm going to be impressed if he's able to get back to his feet before the 10 count here. Looks like another six count for Bonesaw. No, and how about the headbutt there? And, and again, I think we're at the position right now where, where Jay George is starting to realize he has to take this seriously. He's starting to bring it. And Jesse Brooks, man. I still think he might have been off a little more than he can chew. Yeah, well. The way he messes with Bonesaw like this. Well, and look at those forearms from this young lady. And another German suplex. Dude, one of those you'd count to a thousand. I'd still be laying there. I haven't taken one in years, and I'm not about to start taking them again. I don't blame you. It's the reason you're now a broadcast journalist, right, my friend? I still wanted to be in it, but not in it. Exactly. If you catch my drift. Indeed. God bless these guys and what they do. But wait a minute. Smart move by Jay George. Is not only getting up, and look at this. Slaps to the head. She's having to protect herself. Now, you see, we were talking about maybe a disqualification or no disqualification before. Yeah, I'm going with no disqualification. I can't believe the referee's still just letting that hang there, because that, that's a dangerous situation. Well, and he was just using it to choke her, but again... You know, I fail at doing my job as a broadcast journalist and better understanding the rules before this match. Very unique submission maneuver there. He, she's been in this position before. 
J. George is dropping her across that middle turnbuckle. Right, and, and not just the turnbuckle. If you look at this closely, there is there is metal there. There is metal that hooks as he knees her in the face. That hooks the turnbuckle to the post. It is exposed. You see it. I was just on HD, right? You see it. It's not covered. There's no covers on it. There's no padding on it. This young lady, her gut, her sternum even could be could be damaged after such a maneuver, and then followed up with that knee. And we're up to a four count now. She's up to her feet. Referee stops the count. And that that huge axe handle by Jay George and other guys. What over six six one six two? Shades of the Macho Man there. Yeah, brother. Actually, yeah. I guess that's a little Macho Man esque as well. Not just Jeff Jarrett in the mid nineties. Kind of a hybrid, wouldn't you say? I, I agree. Beautiful alpha though. I like the hair. And now again, Jay George needs to keep his eye on the ball here. Because I'm telling you right now, Bonesaw, you can beat the crap out of her, but I think she's more than shown she's going to get up. He's calling for a bonsai. Well, speaking of mid-90s, WWF, ladies and gentlemen, Yoko Zuna's back. The spirit thereof. Just crushing down on the sternum. And I thought I was making bad references, but he took it to the next level. I kind of like your references. It's okay. <laughs> You gotta hang out with Rob Miller sometime. That's a that's a young man who uh, can hit you from the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s, and what have you, what somebody had for breakfast. But here he goes attacking him in the corner, attacking her in the corner. See now, Jay George been who started running from her at the beginning of the match, but now that he was in control, he's got to stay on her. And just as I'm saying that, Jesse Brooks is coming back with some vicious kicks. Yeah, indeed. Do you think you're gonna kick her? Those kicks from her, those strikes, they're just brutal. Those big tree trunk legs, right? Hey, <laughs> you said it this time, not me. And and that's the thing is, those kicks and you saw there to the ribs. His ribs are exposed. You're gonna lose your breath. And even though yeah, he's now kicking her in the tree trunks. Oh, is that a closed fist? He's put a lot of people away with that closed fist. Yeah, she's got 10 seconds to get to her feet, but dude, knockout punch, could this be it? However, ring positioning looks like it might be working for Jesse Brooks. Yeah, but she's in dire straits right now. Oh, she sure is, and if it wasn't for those ring ropes, you gotta wonder, would she even be able to get to her feet? Jay George right on top of her, which is a smart move. He needs to do that. Hasn't been doing that so much up to this moment in time, and he's pulling out the rolling suplexes. Indeed, he needs to hold in. Bring it in, going for three of them. Guy not really known for suplexes all that much. And yeah. Jesse with the reversal. That's it. And now she's gonna roll him around. She's gonna show him how it's done. And the crowd getting behind Jesse Brooks. Yeah, Bonesaw here. This young lady, but wait, counter. I don't know if I've ever seen something like this where we go from suplex to suplex and counters. And, and she, uh, yeah, this, I, I wow. And Jay George with two in a row. Yeah, he won the war of the suplexes. And again, I don't think I've ever seen so many suplexes countered, held, rolled through in a professional wrestling match ever. And the referee with a double count here, both wrestlers down. I'd hate for this to end in a double count out. Yeah, but indeed, it is a possibility. Last person standing, if neither person gets to their feet, there won't be a last person standing. They only got till 10, but how about those headbutts? Jay George breaking the count for both of them with those. And look at Bonesaw, though. They woke her up, man. And another huge suplex. We are back to suplexes. Good lord. How many of these can and you take? And this time over the top. Yeah, Northern Lights that time. And the underhook. Just kind of throwing them over here. I'm Shades loving it. Shades of Andre the Giant. And here we go with that. And there's the arm bar. Indeed, that would be Jay a submission. George is in trouble. Is he tapping? Reminder though, you can't tap in a last person standing match. So if it was a normal match, I agree with you, Tony, that would have been the end of the match. He's got 10 seconds to catch his breath. And if I'm him right now, I've got 10 seconds to decide, do I want that again? Because after that, I want to go to the back and cry if I'm Jay George. It's completely possible that he thought he was going to get away with one there and get out of it. But he's down and he may be out. Ouch. Jesse Brooks just stalking him. J. George again, ring positioning so important in a match like this. Yeah, we talked about it at the, at the Warriors of Wrestling where she had made him tap before, but that's not mattering right now because he's back to his feet with those knee strikes. Karanage, and that could be all she wrote. What? Yeah, in fact, that, that Yurinagi shades of a new hope attacking Jesse Brooks. Is history going to repeat itself? That's the question right now. We're almost up to a five count here. Jesse finally starting to stir. Could we check under the ring to make sure there's no easy bake ovens, which I don't think belong under the ring, but somehow find their way there. And she might make the count here. 
And she's she's getting up on her own power Ooh. and a running knee. And the crowd not feeling great about this match right now. No, Jay George in full control on this young lady. Who, by the way, by the way, anybody that wants to talk about gender roles, I'm telling you right now, this young lady's more than shown. This isn't a sport that should be really judged based on man versus woman. How we don't judge it based on weight classes. I hate to use cliches, but it really is kind of a no limits type situation. And this young lady's showing she can bring. I think she's more than than, than impressed. And yes, yeah, she might not make the count right now. Well, she's at eight, and again, at ring position. <laughs> You're right, I'm saying so she might important. not. Right around nine, she's up. What is this? And Jay George, under the ring, we've got an ironing board. Wait a minute, I brought that here for my suit. I had to iron my suit earlier. You're very well pressed, by How way. did this guy, where did he find my ironing board? How the hell does he have my ironing board? Stole the chair from our lovely timekeeper. What is going on here? I think he wasted too much time though. Jesse Brooks just firing off those forearms. And now the shoulder blocks in the corner. She's had enough. He stopping him in that corner. Fist of her uh, legs of flurry, excuse me. And the me. crowd is popping huge for this. Indeed, the American Legion Tier 1 Faithful getting behind Bonesaw Jesse Brooks. And if you're not on the on the cushions of your couch jumping right now. I don't know what's gonna get you off your feet. Well, yeah, and this is this is the 21st century, so they could be watching on a phone, and they could be watching on a chair, they could be on the moon with the space monkey. Oh, brutality! Want well, to make it a joke? That chair, right there. We talked earlier in an earlier matchup where he just hit her in the head, so close to the neck. These are the kind of things that the injuries that can come from from really being hit like that. He, did he just break my ironing board, or is he setting it up? Okay, I thought he broke it for a second. He, I think he did. You gotta be kidding me. I stole that from, I just, I'm not gonna say which hotel. I took it from the hotel. Oh, there you go. That's how to use the ironing board. This is horrible. Yeah, I know. Well, he is under, unpredictable, isn't he? Seems very excited that he broke the ironing board. Dude, you're paying for that. Not you, him. Oh, wait, Jay George getting a little close. He's out in the crowd. What is he doing? So you wanted the chair from the middle of Section A in the second row. Because that was the chair. Those are expensive seats, by the way, the front row here at Tier 1. No, actually, they're very reasonably priced. Just well, they cost a little more than the Somebody chair. like me. The point, is, the point is that they're very reasonably priced, but they reserve seatings. And people paid for them. And you should be encouraged to come out here live and check it out live. I mean, it was too expensive for somebody like me. That's why I'm commentating. Um, look at this now, unceremoniously pushing the rep as well. No disqualifications as we figured out in this last person standing now. He's got that chair, got that ironing board. What is he setting up? Well, I guess if he broke the ironing board, he's going to make it work somehow. You know, I, I've, I've definitely actually had to do something like this before with one of the little ironing boards. That smart man. And Jesse Brooks is out of it. Indeed, she's in a bad place right now. You can see she was kind of catching her breath a little bit. Whoa, Jay Schwartz literally just spit on someone in the crowd. Hawking the loogie, look at this. He, I'm not even gonna call that. Forearm shots from Jesse. Bonesaw, she's got him in a... Wait a minute, going through the ironing board. Jay George getting some of his own medicine. And Jesse's ecstatic about the turnabout of events here. And you want to talk about service here, the American Legion Floyd Bennett Post 1060, they actually just walked the chair over to that section to return the chair. Someone who actually owns the venue here, very impressed. Well, it's like you said, if you're going to pay for the seat, you might as well be able to sit Indeed, down. Which, which again, reasonably priced, it was just $5 more, and if you bought it in advance, if you went to a ball 56 or 57 and showed your ticket, you got $5 off, by the way. So. Wait a minute, what's going on here? What is this? I can't tell, but I think that's Ace Romero who just pulled JJ. Yeah, that's VSK. Federated is out here. I don't know what business they have with Bonesaw. Well, Jay George and Ace Romero actually once once tagged in a qualifying match for that six-man showcase we talked about at the Impact Pro. Not sure if that was a connection here or not, but what the hell is Ace Romero doing? He's show he's giving us the gun show. And he's gonna stare at Jesse Brooks! Zero F's given! She's right in his face! 
Not only ducking the clothesline, but hitting with some forearms and chops of her own. This young lady's been through hell, and now she's taken it to a fresh Ace Romero. Mr. Martinez outside the ring. And that huge spinning side slam. Indeed. And come on, how many men does it take to handle Bonesaw Jesse Brooks? I want to hit it again. I talked about the gender roles here. What does it say about this young lady when I bet you one on one should probably take any of these guys? And the referee's going to allow this? There's nothing he can do. His hands are tied and she's got a 10 count to get up. And miraculously, Jesse Brooks is getting to her feet. And Jay George, who still has half that loogie on his face from spitting into the first row. As if that's not enough, what is he going to do next? This, this, this just can't be happening. This is ridiculous. Again, how many men does it take? We're up to a six count already. Yeah, thanks, Federated. And I don't think she's going to get up, Trevin. This is a travesty.